Yeah, but let me understand what is going on. When you click on what, what happens? He froze. He froze. He froze. Say congelo. Right. Um, what he said was he was trying to, um, when he clicked on the slideshow and went from the beginning, it just showed one frame. It didn't move. Or now it's moving a little bit. I think he's to click the mouse. It depends if you put animation. There's so many things that can be wrong with it. Um, check here. Well, the basic steps are, what are the basic steps? Oh, no, no problem. Uh, we're all good. Um, mm, for playing it or for? Yeah, so you, you create the PowerPoint and then you pick what you want, how you want it to be open with the drapes or whatever. Uh, yeah, but when you're playing it, though, you have to click the mouse. You need something to uh, to advance. Oh, oh yeah. You have to click the mouse, right? Space bar or things like that. I don't think he's doing that. Maybe that's the problem. All right, class, let's, uh, let's get on with the program here. Let me switch to the, to our um, PowerPoint. We're gonna start PowerPoint. Let me go to my PowerPoint. If anybody gets excited about going to the Pacific Trail, <laughs> uh, let me know. All right. I don't think I will do it now, you know, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, years ago, like maybe 10 years ago, I was all into doing it. All right, class, let's go to PowerPoint. And then uh, let's, oh, before we do that, on, on the textbook, look at it, we're on um, page 57, it says, uh, this is the chapter two of PowerPoint. Enhancing a presentation with pictures, shapes, and war art. All right, shapes and war art, I don't think we have them, but we're gonna do something uh, similar to that. You will have mastered the material on this module when you're able to search for and download for an online theme, insert and format pictures, insert size and size and shape, apply effects to a shape and add text to a shape, change the text font, insert picture to create background, Oh, we haven't done that, so it's gonna be nice. And then insert the word uh, and format word art. I don't know if word art is available or not. I'm gonna find out right now when we start the, the thing. Format slides uh, backgrounds, find and replace text and check spelling, add and print in speaker notes, all right? In our visually oriented culture, audience members enjoy viewing effective graphics. Whether reading a document or viewing a PowerPoint presentation, People increasingly want to see photographs, artwork, graphics, and a variety of typefaces. Research have known for decades that documents with visual elements are more effective than those that consist only of text because the illustrations motivate audiences to study the material. People remember at least one third more information when the document they're seeing or reading contains visual elements. I remember that class because when I was uh, my first, I think one of my first books I read, I was like 13 or 12, I read the um, Treasure Island. And uh, if it would have been only, only uh, letters, maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't read it. <laughs> but it, but it had, it had uh, uh, illustrations, like every chapter had an illustration and it will, it will show what was gonna happen in, in the chapter. So I, I got excited and I, oh man, this is gonna happen. So I will read it. So it is true though. It is true for, for most of us, you know, we love, Images, graphics, video, you name it. This graphics, lots of people is, is hooked on TV. <laughs> exactly, that's why. This graphics help clarify and emphasize details. So they appeal to audiences, uh, audience members with the, uh, with the, with the differing uh, backgrounds, reading levels, attention spans, and motivations. All right. And, uh, and it's, 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 uh, that, that is statement, but there is such, such a uh, truthful statement about we uh, as humans love to see images. As a matter of fact, um, yesterday I had my uh, my interview with COD, uh, Linda, <laughs> you know, I had an interview with a, with a panel of um, a COD panel. And oh, they, who was there? Who was there? They want, um, 
I can't remember the names. Yeah. They sent me the questions they were going to ask me 10 minutes before the meeting. I only had two meetings to, uh, to go over the questions, but that's, that was the rules that they had. And um, I needed to um, present for 10, do a presentation for 10 minutes. It could be just something that I could talk about it or, uh, or whatever, however I wanted to do the presentation. And guess what I use? PowerPoint. And I'll show you my, my PowerPoint presentation. And I made it uh, visually appealing so uh, so they wouldn't get bored with, <laughs> with what I was covering. But let me just show you, because this is this is something, uh, um, and that's the whole point of that when you're learning something, to use it, you know, it's, it's the idea. Let me uh, here show you my PowerPoint really quick, and then we'll get started with this. Um, since we're talking about it, about this thing on, on, the, on the textbook, uh, where did I put it? There it is. Uh, PowerPoint. Let me switch this so you guys can see it here. Here's my PowerPoint. Okay, so it, it's called understanding subnetting, and it's a topic that they wanted me to discuss for the class uh, that I'm going to be teaching there. So, what's, what's subnetting? Ah, uh, it's a complicated thing, but um, <laughs> but I and and I know some of the people who were interviewing me. Two of them knew what what it was because they are probably the ones who the people in the department, but the other people and and the uh, um. They didn't know what it was. So I had to explain it. Like if I'm explaining it to somebody who doesn't know. So I, I did this presentation, let me show you here. So I just, you know, slide number one, understanding subnetting by myself. And then I, 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 first what I did is I, you know, set up the uh, statement here. Subnetting is an effective and efficient way for routing traffic in a network. This is very complicated, I know. And I, and I explained to them, if I tell this statement to anybody, they're not going to understand what I'm talking about, and I use uh, a simple example. Uh, when when like, let's say this is you, uh, Frank, and you have a, a friend Sophia, and tomorrow is going to be Sophia's uh, uh, birthday, and uh, last year you forgot, so she says, and I, I had to say this, tell the story in order for them to understand what I was going to explain, and uh, so you have to send a letter. You live in Palm Springs, and she lives in Palm Desert. That's, this is her address here. Let me just move this up here. Okay. So if you send a letter, I said, you know, if you send a letter from um, uh, from from Palm Springs, the letter will go all the way to Palm Springs, and then guess what? It's gonna go to San Bernardino to be sorted, and then it goes gonna go back to Palm Desert, sort it again, give it to the mail carrier, and two days days later, the mail carrier will deliver it to her address. So it'll be really late. That's a typical way that, that is done. Not very efficient. Well, some netting, you know, the way networks work, they do it this way. They do it in an effective way. When when the letter is sent to, um, uh, we're talking about information. When information is sent is sent to the to the to the receiver here in Palm Springs, you know, the the, the post office. The Palm Spring Post Office notices that it's going to Palm Desert, so he routes it to Palm Desert. So within one day, the letter will be delivered to her. Wow. That's an efficient way of doing this. And that's something that the, that the routers, the internet, and the, and the networks do. And I had to explain that because it was part of uh, my uh, the class that I, they want me to teach. It's a networking class. So, and I, well, once I, I, I I did that. I, I go ahead and I show the animation because remember that the whole point. Is, so if we do it effectively, this is how it's going to go. A letter will go straight to her mail. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so I did that little animation. Just wanted to show you that, guys. But anyway, just the rest of it, I explained, you know, what, how it works and all that and did some numbers here using some table and just it was, um, uh, I had to explain all this, but it's very complex, a uh, lot of math and but uh, I have to explain it like if I'm talking to a child kind of thing. So that's that was that was the idea. But anyway, so that's what I did yesterday. And on my on my presentation, I had to present something, and I decided to use PowerPoint to do my presentation. And it worked great because they they uh, actually received good good feedback that they um, understood the topic. Uh, so that's what PowerPoint is for. PowerPoint. So did you get it? Did you get the job? Well, they sounded like I did, but officially they have to let me know through that, through the, um, you know, through the, the, what is it, the, the personnel department. So I don't know yet. HR, yeah. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. Officially, it says they have to contact me and offer me the thing to see. You know, all first tell me that I'm I was selected, and then they offer me the position and all that. So we'll see when that happens. All right, class. So um, PowerPoints is such an excellent tool to uh, to do presentations uh, and uh, and present topics like I did right here, or like uh, Jorge is doing, you know, with the hats. Um, it is it is an excellent tool. All right, so let's go and start. Uh, let me see if we're gonna do a blank presentation. It says here. It says the project and module focuses on publicizing a basketball camp camp held each summer for children living uh, in the park district. Professionals teach boys and girls a variety of offensive and defensive skills. Uh, during this fun and ed an educational event, the presentation follows graphical guidelines and has a variety of illustrations and visual elements that are colorful and appealing to child athletes and their parents. For example, the pictures have a particular shapes and effects. The enhanced type has a style that blends well with the formatted background and illustrations. Pictures and type are formatted using picture styles and work, excuse me, work art. Let me bring over here, it says, in this module, you learn how to create these slides. Uh, the following roadmaps identify several activities you, you will perform as you progress in this. You're gonna download, theme and select the slides for the presentation, insert and format pictures, format shapes, backgrounds, or art, print the slides and revise them. All right, so this is how we're gonna do first. This one is run PowerPoint. All right, so let's run PowerPoint. So. We're in PowerPoint now, and in the search right here, it says to type um, basketball. So let's see. Let's see what we get. Center. That we want it, or we want it in team? I think it's in more teams. Let me see. What is that happening? No, that's, that's not what they want us to do. All right, so we're looking for a theme. So explore all templates and themes all right here. So we're gonna click over here. So you have to go and do this thing, I guess. Uh, browse templates. I'm looking for the search button here, but I don't see it. Browse our category. I don't see a search. I don't see a search over oh, right here, maybe. Office search office templates right here. So we're gonna we, do? We, we type in basketball. Yeah, and it's gonna take you to no 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 don't type yeah. Once you're here, let me let me get how do the, I get there? I didn't see. Yeah. So what they want us to do is that we're gonna download a theme. So we're gonna look for a basketball theme. And um this right here, applications, file templates, and more. So I click on this, and I, but I didn't find anything. So if I put basketball, it, it took me over here. It's basket. But see, when when I click, it didn't give me anything. It took me to the to this. So that's not what I'm looking for. So that wasn't a good search. So let me go back here. And I, I did it this way. Look at where it says more themes. I click on more themes. And it gave me a bunch of different themes. The Atlas, all, all kinds of themes. And then I went all the way down where it says explore all templates and themes. When I click on this, it, it sent me to another page, which is a Microsoft page where all the themes are located. Okay. So that's how I got to this page. It's called templates.office.com. And here I can, I, it says I can search for themes, see? So I'm gonna search for uh, basketball. Is ready. There it is. So there's, uh, here is the one we're looking for. 
That's exactly the one it shows on the textbook. All right, so this is the one we need. This right here. This is the one. All right, so I went to templates, more templates, and then view all templates. And then it took me to this Microsoft web page where I could do a search. And I type on the search basketball and it gave me this layout. This is the one we're looking for. See, basketball presentation, widescreen, PowerPoint. So that, it does work, that's how it works. I'm sorry, Mr. Vasquez, we, uh, we went to the search for apps, files and templates and more and mm -hmm. put in basketball. No, no, no. On the on the on the PowerPoint, there's one that says uh, uh, themes. I click on themes, and then it says all themes at the very bottom, and it took me to this website. Don't do the search on the search uh, uh, right away because it's gonna take you to the internet, and it's not gonna find anything. See, it just found basketball things, which I don't need. I need a template. Okay. But let me let me see if I can get it here. Edit in browser is what we need to do. Okay, once you find it, we're gonna edit it in browser. So that's what we need. Edit in browser. This is our location. So we click on it first. I'm, I'm kind of lost in there, Mr. Vasquez. I'm just where it says PowerPoint Explore Premium Templates. How do I get there from here? Uh, and then go way to the bottom where it says More Templates. Click on the link where it says explore templates and then go where it says more templates, so all templates, something like that. I forgot. I'm gonna repeat these things, but I'm gonna lose this. So let me let me repeat the steps again. Okay. So I went back this way, back and back. Okay, I'm right there. Right where? Right here? The the, the right there. Okay, so I'll be here. There's a search button right here. Okay. And just click on the search button. All right. And type basketball. If you got to this page, you're good. You just need to type the, uh, the search uh, keyword, which is basketball. And look through the ones and you'll see this basketball um, template. This is the one we're looking for. That one right there. That's the one that the text shows. And then we right click on it, Mr. Vasquez? No, you click on it to open it, to download it. Look at, when I click on it, it's gonna take me to another page where it says download or edit on brow in browser. You're gonna edit in browser. Okay. And, and we click on edit in browser? Yeah, you click edit in browser, look at what's gonna happen. When I click on mine, it's gonna go back to my PowerPoint and open it there. It's a brand new PowerPoint blank because it doesn't have anything we just downloaded the, the template but we didn't we haven't done anything to it oh i got an error so mr vasquez it says this service is unavailable please try again later or open yes. a desktop app yes you're right mine yeah. too that's exactly what i got to all that you can close this file so they did um trying to open uh PowerPoint. Lost. Let me see, it says uh, PowerPoint. Okay, let me see if it open in PowerPoint. Uh, okay, it went to my PowerPoint actually. And it opened it there. Hmm. No, it didn't work. Well, so much for that. If I click continue, what happens? No, doesn't want to. It's trying to open it on the on the browser, but it's not letting me. Yeah. 
All right, I think um, that's a, a failure. <laughs> it doesn't work. So, so much for that. Don't so worry. Should we, about should it. we X out of there then? Should we just X out? Yeah, let's, uh, let's I guess, go back to the. Um, well, I'm go trying. back or X out? Huh? Did you say go back or X out of this thing? Uh, well, uh, can you exit out of it or? I'm trying to exit it and it's not letting me. There is... Me either. Me either. Okay. So, this is what we need to do, I guess, close it completely. That's what we're going to have to do. Close that tab and then open it again. Yeah. Just go out of Microsoft completely again and just start all over, huh? Yeah, I am. Um, mine, I'm going to have to do the same thing also. Yeah. Miss Ruskin, but aren't those pictures on the one on that file that you sent us? Yeah, but not the background, though. Not the background that they, they're using. Uh, okay. And the theme uh, in general, the theme is the one that we couldn't download. All right, plus the model that if we couldn't do it, we couldn't do it. Let's move on. We're gonna have to create our own then, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, class. Close it and open it again. Let's go back to PowerPoint. And uh, we're gonna start a new blank presentation. Well, you know what? If we go to the templates, let me see what template will be close to uh, to the one they're showing here. Something close will be this one, academic course interview, uh, overview. Uh, Berlin is one that is close to it, but I don't see it here. So maybe this one, what, what color is the basketball bar, this color? Red radial lines, presentation, white screen. Well, let's try this one. This one that is kind of the color of a basketball. Is with, that's yeah. what the other one was. So let's yeah. click on this one. Okay. And uh, we're going to have that, that, that one as our. See? Oh, it, oh already, it already has the stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. It already has the stuff. Look at Yeah. Oh. Baba, Berlin. Berlin. Uh, is it there? Yes. Baba, right. Let me check. Let me check. Close this one because this one is not gonna work. This one is already done for us. Oh, I went out again. So let me go back to. And me too. Oops, by accident. Lupita, what is? Berlin. Let me see. Let me see if they don't have nothing there. Uh, well, I, we, I don't we, have Berlin. Okay. What we can do is do yeah. a presentation class and then and then choose it from the list from the ones that are available. Yeah. Get the Berlin. They don't have nothing. They're in blank. Yeah, no, if you get it, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you go and start a blank presentation, go to design, go to themes. Oh. Berlin is the one that looks like it, uh, like it's that color. Uh, yeah, where? but they don't have a... Uh... Oh, they don't have it here. <laughs> it's okay. We can find one and then change the color. Remember, it gives us When there. they say, go to, the, where they say more themes, I find it there. Yeah, but it doesn't transfer a little bit. I try to okay. see if it transfer. I don't think... Let me get another. Let me get. Let me go back. How about this one? Okay, I, we're lost. What What are we doing? You're gonna start a blank presentation, and I'm looking for a theme that. Oh, okay. That You're actually is gonna work okay. for us. Um, okay. No, no, I understand. This variant. Look, this variant looks like it. See, it's the color of a basketball. Oh yeah. Oh, so it's gonna be the. Uh, what's the name of this variant? Let me see. I forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, but I'm saying the name of the theme though. Oh. I don't even know which, oh, that right here is called I Am Board, Boardroom. I Am Boardroom. It's, uh, it's, uh, and then I use uh, the orange variant. But the theme is I Am Boardroom. I Am? No, I On. Oh, I On. I On. I on. I don't have those, Mr. Vasquez. On the, uh, you're going to the design and the themes? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have Atlas, but. I got the I am. Oh, yeah. Me, I got it. it gives okay. Me, I got the I am, but it gives I, me a, a purple color. No, I know. I go to the variants next to it. Oh. And, then, and go to variant four? Yeah. 
If I have it, class, you have it. They're, they're not going to discriminate you and that's given to me. I'm not special. I'm just like you here. <laughs> so if I have it, you have it. Okay. All right. So this is the one. That's the one we're going to use. What's the name? Uh, the name is um, Ion Boardroom. Or what is it? Ion Boardroom. Yeah. Ion Boardroom is the name of it. It's the second one on the first column. All right, so we're gonna recreate the um, <clears throat> the slides that we see here. It's just it's only um, these slides we have. I think it's four slides. slides. Teacher, I don't have any. Lupita, is that it's on that on this? Look at this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm pointing at it right now. I think it's four slides. So let's go ahead and start with slide number one. Um, so, is it morado? Huh? Morado. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So yeah, oh, oh, orange. Okay. I, I, All right, we're good. I don't forget uh, the, the variant, guys. Yeah, the variant. Don't forget. Okay, got it. Well, okay. we're gonna change to orange. Yeah, you use one. Numero cuatro. Numero cuatro. Variant four. Okay. Okay, so the title Thank is. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. You're welcome. Basketball camp for kids. Okay. So click right here, basketball camp. For kids. Subtitle is Gil Gilbert. Park District. All cap all capital. It's automatically done like that. If you show the the, the 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 theme, it will do it automatically. Gilbert. Like. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, what, what what color did we choose? Atlas. No. We Variant four. Variant four. No, no, no. First is Ion a Boardroom. That's the name of the thing. And then uh, a, a variant, uh, orange variant. Ion Boardroom. Yeah. And then you choose from the variance window and the next next to it, you're going to choose the, the orange. There's the four one. All right, so let's do slide number one. So we're on the slide number one. <clears throat> Mr. Vasquez, see how the one on the designer top right, it's it's light. Sila. Sila. Onde estás? Do you see what I'm talking about? No. Alevi. On the uh, on your screen, uh, to your right, that it's uh, the net, it's moving. Oh, that's a designer. Yeah, no, no, we're we're not gonna mess with no, it. No. So my my question is, can we can we do slides like that? That it's like moving. And if, like, it's possible to do that too? Uh, no. it's, it's a GIF, it's, it's a, a GIF image. That oh. one, you'll have to pay for it. But yeah, on the regular, you can use GIFs. I don't think on this one supports GIFs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just, just, uh, yeah. just a question. So, all right, uh, class, we got, um, that's line number one. Um, I'm looking at distractions here because distractions were for the other uh, template that we couldn't get to work. So let me, I'm just keeping some of those things. Uh, they're asking us to delete slides because uh, that one came with a bunch. TV? So that one's like that. 
So, all right. So now we're on page 61. It says to create a title slide, we're going to put basketball camp for kids, which we already did. And the subtitle is going to be Gilbert Park District. Okay. If you want to, it says you can, instead of the word Gilbert, you can put, you know, your, uh -huh. you can put Indio Park District, Coachella Park District. Palm Springs Park District, whatever the city uh, where you live is, okay? I don't know if here it's called Indio. I think it's Desert Park District. I'm just going to put the city because they want you to use the city. Uh, it says request an instructor in the name of the city or county. It can be Riverside Park District, maybe. Sounds better. Okay. You can put the city or, or the county. The city, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. So, how about if I put India? All right. So, I'm going to put the city, India. You guys put your city if you want to, or the county. All right. So, that's the, that's the slide number one. All right. Slide number two. What it is is content and um, and picture. So we're gonna go to the home tab right here for slide number two, and then we're gonna go a uh, new slide. And they want us to use. I'm looking at the the slide that they're showing for number two on page sixty two, and I think it's this one. But it doesn't say exactly which one it is. Um, mm. Headline, I just like the text in the first one and then you type that. So I think it's text on one side and picture on the other one. So I think it's content with caption we're gonna put. Or picture with caption, no. You know what, it's picture with caption is the one we need, this one. So the emphasis is on the other side. Oh, this side. No, this side is fine. So this one, picture with caption is the next slide. Okay, slide number two. Picture with caption. All right. The picture is going to go here. Caption is going to go on this side. It's the opposite, but it's, it's okay. This is fine. All right. You're ready. It says uh, display is line number two. Select the text uh, and the title, and then you're going to type learn from pros and make acquaintances. Okay. So, okay. so line number two it says. Our title is Learn from Pros. My thoughts are like, give me one second for that. Pros. And make acquaintances. But, um, what template is this? You mean the slide? Yes, uh -oh. sir. Yeah, the slide is uh, is the uh, what was it? What's yeah, that? Uh, picture, uh, picture, picture with caption. Mine is title only, but mine looks different than everybody else's. We'll change it because uh, no, photo mine layout. Looks like yours. It looks like yours. It was just uh, identified differently. That's all. Everything's fine. All right. All right, so over here in the subtitle is gonna say um, classes midweekly. Or oh, week, week. weekday mornings. This is a summer camp kind of thing. Lowercase. That's the system where uppercase, but that's how they have it in lowercase. So that's why I'm gonna put it. Does they have a period? No, a period.
just like that. All right, so there you have it. Now for the picture. Let's see if they have anything that has to do with basketball. Right? Uh, no, they don't have any picture that related to this. So this is what we're gonna do. For the picture, we're gonna have to go to the insert. Pictures from Bing. And yeah, we're looking for um, like a basketball team effort. You know, they're raising their hands and giving themselves a, not a high five, but um, you know, when they go, and they're cheered themselves up. So let me see, basketball. It doesn't say the name of the image. Let me see the images are in, in, the, in, the, in the images folder that I send you and, uh, and I'll tell you which is the one they're using. Right There's one on team efforts with little kids. Yeah, team and basketball team effort. Can you put that something like that? Yeah, but it has the little. It has the littler kids. Uh, let me see. Basketball team. Effort. Yeah, it's something like this. The picture. Yeah, they're 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 one well, of their kids. Yeah, on the picture, you. But anything like that is good, you know. Something like this, they're all together. This one, see the picture that we see is something like this class. Okay, I'm gonna insert it so I can show you. Something like that. That's the kind of picture that they have there. I'm gonna delete this text. So we need something like that. Like that. It's a good one because it's boys and girls, so it's good. Or they're all girls. I can't even tell. I think it's a female team. But it's fine. Unless you find something different. But I like this one because of the colors. You notice how nice the colors. The uniform. So I uh, we put basketball, uh, team effort, and this one came out. Others, but this one came out. Look on your textbook on page 62. And if you can find something different, go ahead. The one on the textbook is actually green. And they're wearing green uh, uniforms. It's interesting. If you put basketball team effort, one type of picture comes up. But if you put plural basketball team efforts, different ones come up. Very interesting. Yeah, let me check. Cause I, yeah, it's true though. That's one of the things about uh, searches online. Uh, there's very specific. It varies by any little word that you add. Yeah. So let me team efforts. But you're right. This matches it. It's lovely. How did I get the? Uh, how do I get to uh, adjust the site? To to the Bing side, you just click on insert and then pictures from uh from Bing, Bing picture. To, uh, to do the the adjustment with numbers. Uh, for the picture, I I, I didn't adjust it. I just if you find that one I have, you you don't need to adjust it. It, it just uh it, it works fine. That's okay. about size. Okay. Yeah, team effort. Uh, okay. is the one. Yeah, I didn't have to resize it fit perfectly. Oh, okay. Barbara, it's coffee time. It's coffee time. Oh break my time. God. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. In case you did, ya se pasó el tiempo, es hora de break. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, uh, let's stop right here. Take a, take a few minutes, <laughs> quick break. <laughs> Drink water, get up and stretch. Check on your um, significant oh. other. Take out the dogs. Whatever it is that you need to do, okay? I'm gonna go and check the family things. I, I, I don't hear anything, so I um, I need to go and check. So all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and pause it, and then I'll come back. The recording for that. Oh, well, thank you. There it is. So that's just the titles uh, on the slide. 
Designer. Yeah, the next one is just, um, all right. So the next one, so click on it on, on slide number two and then insert the new one and form new slide. And this one is gonna be title only. I don't know if there's such a thing as title only. Title and caption, title only right here. Okay. This and one the, is title, okay? title only. And so the first title. one we did was what? The first one is automatic, is the title. Oh, it's automatic? Yeah, you don't have to choose it. Uh, it's gonna be title only? Title only, the third one, okay. And it says that we're gonna type, you will learn. You will learn. And then, uh, yeah. and then suspense, you will learn. And then <laughs> I guess we're just gonna put pictures of that, what kids are gonna learn or graphics or something. All right. So this one does have a smart art and a smart text. Oh, wow. All right, so we're ready. Look at what we're gonna do in this one. This one, we're gonna use the shapes to create this wonderful um, uh, the graphic, okay? This is what we're gonna do first. We're ready? So we're gonna go to insert and then shapes. Right. We're looking for the oval. See, is that oval? Notice where I'm at right now. That's where. Let me just point it here. This is the oval right there. Oval right here. Okay. So we're gonna click on look at how this one works. I click on it, and then I create an, an oval shape. And then you have to grab one corner to enlarge it a little bit. Can you see? The, try this fast alignment. Okay, got it. All right, so we're gonna I'll make it a little bigger here. Or actually we can go maybe three inches. Three inches uh, or two. You see two inches width and two inches height. Yeah, that's about right. Did you, which one do you choose? Uh, it's Would the old. The oval tool. Oval tool. That's and right here. here. So we go to insert. You go to shapes. And I'm pointing at it with the red arrow right there. Oval tool. Only have oval. That's, that's the same. It's the same thing. This, it's a tool to create a circle. Oh, okay. Oval, and and oval. Two by two, you said? Two by two, yeah. Two inches uh, uh, width and two inches height. Thank you. So I adjust it there with a with a size thing and uh, and uh, notice that it has a bunch of little shapes. The other one we tried and and uh, and where where did he have none of this? This is cool. Look at it. it has a bunch of little things that we can add to our drawings. So there is we added the first one. Okay. Now look at let me show you something. When I double click on this thing, I can go and uh, right here where it says uh, shape, and then. Um, the feel, look at. Well, I'm gonna wait for everybody gets it first, because we're gonna do something with it. I don't know why they want us to make it black, but uh, we should make it the side, the color of a basketball instead, orange. So let's see if we can do it orange. All right. So look at. I'm gonna click on it to select it, and I'm gonna go right here where it says shape. And where it says shape fill, I'm gonna fill it in with orange. See that? Okay, wait, wait. So shape fill, orange. There's different orange. This is a darker orange, look at. But I'm gonna just use, uh, I guess, a lighter orange. No, actually, the darker looks better. Huh? It looks like a basketball. Kind of. 
Okay. Oh. The, the text here. If I click inside of it, look at, it is blinking. So that means that I can type something here. So I'm going to type ball. Handling. Or well, lowercase ball, ball handling. Skills. And look at, I didn't have to do this center or anything. I just typed it and automatically uh, went like that. And that's exactly how they have it in the textbook, okay? So ball handling and skills, do not, do not press center, no need for that. Look at how nice, it looks cool. Ball handling and skills. For some reason, my won't change colors. And I clicked, I double clicked hey, on the hey, let, me, let, me show you, let me show you again, in case you, you guys are having a hard time with the colors. I'm gonna click on it to select it. I'm gonna go to shape right here. And it says shape fill. The feeling uh, inside the shape is what we're trying to change. The other one is that the outline. We don't need to change the outline, only the fill. So I I click on this and select the. Uh, I use this dark orange. Orange takes uh, oh, two darker twenty five. Oh, okay, I see. So the feeling is what we change. Okay. And could you just show that orange one more time, sir? Yeah. So let me click on it to select yeah, it. Yeah, got that. Shape. And then feel, and it's this, this orange right here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then you can type in the center. And then you're going to type ball handling and skills. Do not press enter, just space each word, and it automatically will fix itself. Um, Everybody good? You change the color of the typing of the words because my words came out orange. Yours are white. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. That's Mr. Uh, Baskets. Uh -huh. uh, my whole page is um, the same color. It's orange, whatever. I don't have that that little envelope look envelope looking thingy on top and the and then the rest white. This the yellow one or yeah, kind of yellowish. You know what it is, is your theme. So this is what you can do at this point, uh, Marinita. Go to design. Uh -huh. This is only for her, okay, class, don't, don't do none of this. Then you're gonna go to this right here, Ion Boardroom. And then you're gonna click on the variant right here. Wait, wait, hold on a second. So Ion Boardroom. Mm -hmm. The design, oh. then orange variant with this right here. That should change all your slides automatic. Um yeah, but I already have them orange and everything. Oh, I just messed up everything. No. Um, so what I'm saying is that my the the one that we have we're working on right now, it's not red and white. It's just red. The whole thing is red. Okay, let me let me this is what you need to do then. Don't panic, this is what you need to do. You wanna to go to home, you wanna to go to layout right here, and then you're gonna pick title only. Oh, okay. You probably pick the uh, the title slide, title only. Nobody that nobody else that uh, do this, cause you're gonna get, you guys are gonna get confused. I'm only her cause she having a problem. Did it change, Marina? Oh. Uh, title only. Yeah, now, no. Um, you should have, because you yeah, have it, you have it like this, see? Yeah. So if I go layout and change it to title only, uh huh. I get this. Okay. So you you should have it this way. If you don't have it this way, you don't have the correct theme. Then you have a different theme. Okay. So make sure you get the ion board. Uh, what was it? Board boardroom. Yeah. And then the variant orange is the for variant on the on the screen there next to it. All right, look at once we have this little ball right here, we're gonna go now and insert a uh, Pentagon, I think. So we're gonna go insert shapes again. This time we're looking for where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, right here. 
It's called the regular pentagon. See this right here? Regular pentagon it's called. And basic shapes. It's a pentagon, five sides. When I click it, it's right here again. It just gave it to me that color because that's the color I chose. The colors for the text and the, and the circles are coming up automatically. I'm not doing anything. That's how they're set already. All right, so this one, I'm gonna go two inches also. So I'm gonna go two inches width and two inches height. I can't drag it. Can, can you repeat that again, please? Yeah. Go to the basic shapes and it's right there. It's, it's the, look at it, it's the Pentagon. El Pentagono, you know, it's a Pentagon. <laughs> The five sides, it's a, it's a, it's a five yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the shapes and you'll see it right there. Basic shape. It's right on the basic shape section. Okay. You'll see it right there. It's a, the regular one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the five sides. El pentágono. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna go right here. And I'm also, uh, this one they wanted, um, gray for some reason i don't know what but that's the colors they want so feel i'm gonna go gray right here see this gray the darker 35 or should i go to how did i drag it out huh how did i drag it out mm -hmm. you click on it and it will create it automatically so they want this gray look at so gray 50 percent it's this right here White background, darker, 50%. So let me see if I can type, uh, and it's the color we want to type. Defensive uh, mindset. Mindset. How do I, how do I make that um, shape bigger again? Oh, you go right here on the sides. You know what? This one, we're going to have to do it with two and a half. 2.5. Next hole will fit. So 2.5 uh, will be perfect. Okay. What, what did you want to change the color? Uh, the same thing we changed the other one, class. You click on it and you go to shape. Yes, my niñorita. Okay. Shape. You fill it in. This is the color, right, Mason? Okay, thank you. Uh, Keith, what was your question? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I can't seem to uh, find where where I make the, the insert. size. Uh -huh. Insert and then shapes. And oh, there then, we go. Insert. Okay. Uh, insert shapes and it's on the basic shapes. It's a pentagon. You'll see it right there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want it at 2.5 and 2.5. Otherwise, the text is not going to fit. That's why I just realized that. So, so I have to adjust the size to 2.5 on each side, all right? For, for some reason, I can drag it out of the circle. What do you mean? You have it inside the circle? See? No, no, undo then. It has to be outside. Don't click on the, on the, on the, on the circle. <sighs> it has to be outside of that circle. I don't even know how you could put it inside the circle. Let it me just see. showed up right there when I clicked on the. No, you know what? Because you had you were inside that circle. Like, let me show you. If I'm inside the circle here next to the war uh, ball, and I go insert shapes, and I'm gonna put it uh, right there. It does go inside. No, it doesn't go even inside. Just move it. Grab it from the middle and move it around. All right. And the ball should be two point five as well. Two point five width and two point five height. Right. So it's, it's, it's perfect on everywhere. Now, look at this. Uh, I don't know if this one works or not. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, so this we're going to do. We're going to start another one identical. So yeah. I'm going to go insert again, another pentagon mm -hmm. shapes. Uh, same size, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, um, 2.5 and 2.5. Then I'm just going to drag it and uh, make sure, you see, notice those two lines right there? It's telling me that it's a line. When I go right there, it's a line. But it's not aligned to this, so. Let me align this 
Enter. Right there. Right there. Notice how it's letting me know that I have it right on the center. Right there. So now it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's perfectly centered and perfectly aligned with the other ones. So you have to play with that with moving it until you see the lines that tell you that you're basically at the center of it. Uh, right here, we're gonna also change the same color again. So shape, shape fill. And this time, because I already selected that color, I, all I have to do is just click and it automatically it's gonna give it to me. On the text, we're gonna type uh, offensive moves. Go to okay. offensive moves. So there you have it. Don't forget to align it by, by clicking on it and then trying to move it. And you'll see two lines like this. See right there is aligned, right there is aligned to the center. So I'm gonna let go once it's aligned. It's kind of tricky. You have to like maintain your mouse steady as you're moving it. Uh, there. Pardon me to interrupt. I just went to um, saved online to hover over it and it doesn't say it just saved. Is it frozen or could something because I just wanted to check it. I know it immediately saves to one on um, to on you know one drive, but I was just wondering why it's not coming up. Is it because it's not named? Because all it says is presentation seven. So it should be save as presentation seven. Uh, but we can save it right now. Let's go ahead and save it to. Let me see the name of it. It should be basketball. I guess somehow. But it doesn't say it. So let me go to. Where is this, what the name is going to be? Oh, I see. When you clicked on it, it's changed it and it just says status saved just now. It's not when you hover over it. Okay. No, no, you have to click and it show you. Okay. okay. Um, you know, they want us to do more stuff with it, but I'm just going to go and um... save it. Can we just name it basketball? Uh, let me. I'm trying to find the name. It should oh. have the name somewhere on it. Basketball camp. That's how it's called. Yes, and uh, page sixty-three and number two. All right. So basketball camp. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> all right, so uh, there's more stuff to do. I, I just wanted to concentrate and do these things and get them out of the way. All these drawings for each one. They wanted us to create all the slides first and then other things last. But uh, but we never use this this um um shape. So I wanted to just get it done so you guys get acquainted with this this uh, features that it has. I'm actually, all this that I'm doing right now is, is on, on page um, 76 and 77. Uh, so seven. if it's page 76, 77, that's where you see this part. Uh, and and the, the ball, they have it black. So, you know, the circle, the oval, I didn't like it uh, black. I like it that color, you know, orange. So it, it looks, it looks, I don't know, to me it looks better. But the text and everything is the same. So I'm actually now on page, um, and, I, and I'm not following the steps the way they have them, which will give me the same results anyway. Uh, but this is what we're gonna do next. Show a uh, uh, process right here. 
How do we show a process by using arrows? So we're gonna use arrows and that's what I'm looking at how they have the arrows. Looking at the arrows here. Yeah. I see. All right, so this is how we're gonna do the arrows class. So we're gonna go to, again, insert, shapes. And let me show you the arrows they're using here. They're using them. User. And so it's on page uh, 77 it says, uh, click the arrow shape to select it. So just arrow shape on basic shapes on black uh, arrows. As this is the one that has to get. Okay, say e equation shapes. No, no, those right here, this arrow right here. We're gonna use a curved left arrow. Look at how I'm gonna do this. Uh, if you go to the where it says block arrows, I'm gonna use the curved left arrow. Look at how it looks like this. And oh. then for the other side, look at I'm gonna go back insert shapes again, and I'm gonna put the uh, left curved arrow or right, I'm sorry, right and left. So right there, okay. So just uh, uh, something like that is how they wanna show the connection here between these two. And then they want us to use them, um, see the size, I think the size is a little bigger. So maybe one inch, uh, like that. One and a half uh, height and one inch width will be perfect. One and a half um, height. And I'm gonna kind of align it right there. Right, see, they're aligned. And they're both showing up. Um, Compare this one, yeah, they're aligned. I don't know, they look aligned together like that. What was the width, sir? The width was, um, let me see, let me go and check. Uh, one inch and inch and a half the height. Thank you. So it looks like that. Now the colors should be, um, well, they have a white, so let's see how it looks white. So I'm gonna go shapes. White. Hmm. But that's how they have it. So let's do it that way. These are the colors for both, okay? So white is the first color there. And then for the bottom, um, that look at for the bottom, they have another one like this. We can use uh, maybe the, the left. So this one. So insert, shape, left. And look at what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it over here and see with this, with this little rotation, uh, rotating uh, arrow right here, I'm gonna grab it and rotate it like that, look at 90 degrees. Oops, went too much. Right there, 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna do the same size. So one inch width and one inch high, uh, inch and a half height. Which, which one is that one? It's the same one, it's the left. The left, okay. Now I use a little arrow to rotate it. So this one you have to rotate. See, notice that it, it shows uh, kind of like some sort of a, a continuity kind of thing. That's the idea. So you start on this and then move on to the next program. You know what, this one could be two inches. Let me see how it looks in two inches. Because, um, on the web. No, actually the height. <laughs> if we go two inches on the height, uh, it's better looking because it shows a more close and right there. See that? So for this one, um, you know, you know what? Uh, 
Maestro, mire cuando la volteó. It has this little arrow right here. Uh -huh. This little arrow, and then just rotate it. Click on it, hold it, and move it, and you'll see how it rotates. You know what? Let's leave it at a, a, oh, a, okay, okay. Let's leave it at uh, inch and a half. Uh -huh. just, so they're all the same. See that? So they're all the same. I'm, I don't want to. So they're not going to look the same if I do that. Right there, center. There you go. So it shows some sort of a continuity kind of thing. It's what we want, like this. Looks like a Venn diagram, they call it, where it shows progress. So you start with ball handling, and then you learn some moves, offensive moves, and then some defensive mindset. And you know, that's what they're trying to um, portray there with that, with those arrows. So that's what it means. Can you please show me again how to rotate it? Wait a minute, class. This one, wait a minute, this is wrong. The arrow should be going that way. Why is my arrow going this way? This is the wrong arrow. Okay, we well, give me one second. So that's not the arrow we need. You just click to on it and delete it? Yeah, I just click and delete it because you know why? Is this arrow the one we need? Uh, it's another left arrow then because we're following all left arrows. So they all need to be left arrows. No, yeah. So you just click and hit delete. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. okay. And this one has to look at this one. Uh, I see what, what happened here, how they rotated it. So this one, look at, it's another left arrow, one and a half inches. And then I'm just gonna apply the colors and look at what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rotate it and show continuity like that. That's how they have it. So it has to be rotated to 180 degrees. Let me just match it with the other one here. See what I just did right now? Okay, so we're deleting the left yeah, arrow. See, and I noticed, wait a minute, they're going everywhere. So it has to show continuity. So it starts in ball handling and then offensive move and then defensive mindset. And then notice how it's like a round thing is what they're trying to, to show us. Okay, so. so that's how it is. The left side gets a left arrow again. They're all left arrows. Yeah, they're all left arrows. I just realized that. How do I delete it? Okay. Click on it and press delete on the keyboard. Oh. God. That's the fastest okay. way. You click on it and then press delete and then rotate it. I rotated it at 180 degrees to make it look like that. And then how do you rotate? Uh, it, has a little, it has a little thing right here where you can rotate. Or oh, down well, there, okay. You can go to shape and you can go to rotation. Where is rotation here? I don't think it has rotation. You have to use that little thing there. There's a little thing there. Oh, right here. It's a rotation like it. You go. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. You can rotate it with this buttons if you want to, or just use the the the, the actual little um button here, the little handle on the bottom. I use the handle just to rotate it, but it's better to use this uh these buttons here, makes it easier. Okay, and then we want that at one and 1.5. One mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like not, not exactly like the one they have, but it's close enough. See, the yeah. one they have is more rotated. It's like this, like, it, like that. And then the one on the bottom is a left yeah. arrow again. They have it like this, look at class. If I just rotate it like that, I don't know if it looks better that way. That's how they have it. So the rotation was what? How many degrees? I don't know. I just went and uh, yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Looks better huh? Yeah. So let's do it this way. And just this can go down a little bit. Kind of like fix it so it looks nice. It, it makes more sense. The other way was too open. So I had to rotate it a little bit more. If I go to a rotation here, um, you can, it's easier if you uh, mess or uh, play, play around with this thing, look at, see? As it was actually 320 degrees. And this one is uh, the I 180 or something, no? No, 220, 220 degrees, 220. There. <laughs> so something like that, you know, but as long as it looks like it's going around is the idea. And shapes are, are really great, guys, because it allows you to, to show, in this case, a, a process, you know. 
uh, especially for for um, illustrating something. Like in this case, you know, um, what the kids are gonna learn during this summer camp, basketball summer camp. Uh, very cool. Something you can use for your classes, uh, uh, Linda? This, oh, this, uh, uh, yeah. this well, is so kind of, I did some stuff like that on my PowerPoint for my class, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty amazing uh, stuff too. There's so much stuff to learn on these things, you know. Okay. Um, see what else I have on this thing. I think it's about it. Nice, nice graphics. Just left it alone. They're a little closer together on the thing, but uh, that's fine. She's right, especially, especially the bottom one. I'm sorry, what's it? Hmm? Um, I forgot how to rotate this again. Once I click on the picture, I... You want to use the button? You click on the picture? Right. You shape that's it that's it shape that's it thank you and that rotation button is right here i i yeah i like to just use this little thing it makes it so easy to see go around uh, everybody doing everybody's really quiet today uh, <laughs> we got 10 minutes left so i think we're gonna stop right here and uh First three slides, we still have, uh, I think it's two more slides. Uh, one more slide, but it has a bunch of stuff on it. This is nice because uh, we added all these things. Look, it makes it look really nice. And then the other one is going to be a nice background picture. Uh, uh, I found that little button. Yeah, that little button, you click on it and it's right here. Which is rotated until it looks nice. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it, lo it looks, you know, that like they're going around like that. Is the idea. Mr. Vasquez, how did you change the arrow colors? I click on it and uh, shape fill, just like I did with the ball. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank fill. you. And it's the white, the first one. But you notice that the, the, the outline is yellow. So if I wanted to change the outline to black, look, let me show you class, because this is a good thing that, that she asked me that. So I'm gonna go shapes. Don't change it, I just look at me, okay? I go shape outline. Let's say I want it um, black, see that? Uh -huh. That's the outline and, uh, and this is the fill. So it has two things. So if I click on this one and I go black, Click on this one, go black. I think they look a little better in black than they were in yellow. Okay. Same thing for this. If I added uh, the outline uh, black, see, it enhances the, the image is better, I think. Same thing for this, if I go black. See that? Notice how mine looks a little better now that I changed the outline to black. See if you can do that. Uh, the same place where you uh, click to change the color for the inside, the fill, you can change the color for the outside, the outline is called. Change it to black, they, they look better in black. I, I just realized that. Okay, so what are we changing? The, the same way when you change the color from inside, right below it, it says shape outline. We're changing the outline. Okay, so uh, we click on you have to click on the image first to select it, and then that's how you change it, okay? And then we go to sh shape, shape. Uh -huh. and then where it has the, uh, the outline, that's where we change it. Shape fill, oh, shape outline, yeah, 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 okay. Right below it, right below it. Make sure you make it black, and, it, and it's gonna look much better. It kind of like enhances the color, I, I noticed. Uh, and once you select it, you don't have to do it anymore. You just click on it and then change it. Just click on shape outline, click it and click on shape outline. You don't have to select it again. It, it keeps it right here automatically. 
This is the last color you use. Here comes the journey. It's time to start the journey. Right? I want to show you my, my student before we, we guys, because I got about seven minutes left while everybody's finishing. Let me show you this video. My, of my student that uh, we, I, I guess I got him excited to to do the PC, PC, um, uh, how do you call it that? The PC, um, Pacific Crest Trail, the PCT, they call it. So let me uh, see if I can share that with you guys. I've walked on it for two miles. Oh, but that's about you all. You found it? It's hard to find though. Well, it is. Uh, oh, nice. There's 